In tonight's Point Blank, Raise the TV gets up close and personal with three nominated members of Parliament: Arts Manager Audrey Wong, Media Entrepreneur Calvin Cheng, and Sociologist Associate Professor Pauline Tay Strawn. Who are they, and what can we expect from them in Parliament over the next two and a half years? Those questions and more are answered in today's episode. First, we meet with Associate Professor Pauline Tay Strawn. She describes her job as a sociologist to be that of a professional busybody, but that could be an added advantage for Associate Professor Pauline Tay Strawn in her new role as nominated member of Parliament. After all, as an independent voice in Parliament, it's always good to know Singaporeans' views on the issues raised in the House. It was an honor in itself that、uh, the university chose to nominate me, and. I think that I figured that there were many people who would be very qualified and very pleased to, you know, be in a position to to be considered. So I didn't think too much of it after being informed that I was nominated by the university. So I think the final selection came as a very pleasant surprise,、um, and I'm very grateful to be able to serve at this level. I mean, it is indeed a privilege. So you know, I encourage. All the aspiring politicians to be. If you if you are interested in policy, what you want to contribute, volunteer. Don't wait to be asked because you. If you feel that there is a passion in you, always go for it. But Prof. Strawn never thought she would delve into politics. My bosses at the university said, "Oh, would you like? You know, can we consider you?" And I'm like, "Yes, sir,"、uh, because I'm an academic, right?、Um, and in, as an academic, as a sociologist,、uh, it, it is the nature of my work to look at social issues and social policies. And I saw myself contributing in other ways.、Uh, for example, when we sit on people, cent- you know, people sector committees, or when we do our researches that are focused on the current issues that concern Singapore society, and we publish papers and we, you know, present findings to conferences, you know, give interviews to the papers. Those are various ways of contribution. I mean, of course, when I was asked whether I would be willing to be nominated by my、uh, by the university. The first thing I had to ask myself was, can I contribute? Can I add value? Because if I can't, then let someone else do it, right? So, I think the the benefit of of co- someone coming from my background, right,、um, and going to、uh, to this level of of service would be that I th- the the value add would be bringing evidence base. Uh, kind of perspective because、uh, I do quantitative research mainly, you know, on on Singapore families, health issues, and so forth. So seeing evidence from the ground、uh, informs me in a very important way,、uh, not just based on hearsay, ideographic、uh, impressions, but you know, observing trends, right, and then trying to make sense of the trends. So evidence-based research is a big deal now in you know all disciplines. So I hope this 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 can you know bring some value add to to the discussions at at the national policy level. Associate Professor Strawn works as the Vice Dean of the National University of Singapore's Arts and Social Sciences Faculty. She is married to Dr. Robert Strawn, an American citizen and Singapore permanent resident, who works as a senior lecturer at Singapore Polytechnic. They have two sons, Robbie, who is 17 years old, and Timothy, who is aged 13. Having worked at the university for about 18 years now, it's no surprise that Prof. Strawn holds focusing on issues related to youths as one of her priorities. Prof. Strawn talks more about that in our next segment of Point Blank. <laughs> 